Netflix, the stock is flying this morning. Are they finally over the, the stumble, the major stumble from last summer when they split the services in two? You can see there shares up 13% at 81.43. Looks a 13% rise. Sounds great. But let's not forget where they were a year ago and even where they were in June, right? You can see there, that's the year chart. This company was above $300 a share a year ago. Fell as low as 60 just in just a month ago. So still much closer to the bottom than the top. Right, right. Steve Rusillo, but tell us, why is Netflix doing so well today? So big jump today. And uh, a lot of it is attributed, attributed to what the CEO, Reed Hastings, said on his Facebook page on Tuesday. He mm -hmm. basically bragged about the company's streaming business reaching you know, 1 billion viewers. 1 billion hours. 1 billion hours. hours, sorry, 1 right. billion hours 1 billion of video. viewers would be awesome. <laughs> and <laughs> One, then there's the statement from him on right, Facebook. 1 billion right. hours of video last month were streamed. So... You know, I, I, he said it was a record, obviously a big accomplishment, and he's expecting even more in the future when they get original content from the likes of House of Cards and Arrested Development. Arrested so, Development. That I oh, would... So I know. excited. It is. It's <laughs> exciting. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so... You know, the, the stock had a nice run up on Tuesday, up 6%, but it, it's getting an even bigger bump up today, up to, up 13%. There's a lot of op options activity going on in the stock right now. There's uh, People are making some pretty is, bullish bets right now. Is this a sign that the they had a major public right. relations disaster last year when I mean, they said they were going to... It was more gonna, than just a PR disaster. Right, right. It was yeah. more than just a PR. When they said they were going to split their offerings, going to have an online streaming right. and the mail thing... Uh, not is, to mention the price increase. Not right. Yeah. Right. Is this a sign that they are actually over that now? What is the street saying? That's a great question. I think that a lot still needs to be answered when the the company reports earnings in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Their earnings report is for the end of July. So, uh, you know, I, I think especially they had a, a stumble in April. Their their growth numbers were not as great as people were anticipating. So. Uh, you know, there are still a lot of those questions that you asked, Paul, are going to be hopefully be answered uh, when the earnings report comes in June. But I think that if you just look at the stock price now, yes, it's a little bit above 80 right now. That's nice, and it's off the low of 60 just a month ago. But still, it was over 300, 300 a year ago. Dollars. So I mean, that is uh, this a is huge. Drop. As you said before, is much closer to the bottom than it is to the top right now. Which begs the question: Is there a lot more room for the stock to run higher? And you had a Citigroup analyst. Let's come ask out. the question. <laughs> you, you can ask it. I answer. can ask it and answer. There you wow. go. Because you put a <laughs> both. Let, let's plug it, right? We have a post on MarketBeat about post this. Post on MarketBeat. Yep. And okay. uh, Citigroup analyst Mark Mahaney came out earlier this week and had, you know, reiterated his buy buy rating and has a $130 price target on the stock and says that, you know, from a value, just ba merely from a valuation perspective, the stock is cheap. The stock is cheap and it has room to run higher. And so he said, yes, the company had a lot of missteps over the last summer, but if you take into account just how well the company did in the years past and put those PR, you know, stumbling blocks aside, the company has generally done pretty well, and so hopefully will continue to do well in the future. So he's he's pretty bullish on the stock, and he's one of the best well-known, one of the most well-known internet That's analysts an, and, out there. And look, so. you know, it's interesting. You knew they were going to have to get out of the mail order business at some point, right. and and go into something. Seems like now they did it. Now it's starting to maybe take a little traction. Exactly, that'll be good for the company. All right, Steve Russo, thank you very much.